The biggest pressures we, ha we are having are the financial ones. The COVID-19 crisis has forced local governments to rethink everything. The regional district and here at the city of Penticton, meetings are ongoing to look at budgets, to find ways that they can cut to keep services going. Like we lost thousands of jobs in the community, hundreds of businesses are shut down uh, and there's no um, income coming into them. They have bills to pay, you know, and that's a difficult situation for the city. I, I think we all understand now that uh, COVID-19, uh, the pandemic is not a short term uh, impact. One source of revenue for Penticton could be to sell off city owned lands, but Vasilaki is not in favor. We don't want to sell land because later on, you know, we'll need it and then we have to pay a lot more in order to purchase mm -hmm. lands that will require, uh, we, whether it's for parking or for to build more uh, city facilities. Uh, but that's one thing we can fall back on, are the reserves that previous councils, as well as this council, has put in place uh, for a rainy day. And this is a big, heavy rain that we're having at the present time. There's a lot of unknowns, but certainly uh, from the economic point of view, all the indicators now are that uh, this will be a long-term recovery. Uh, hopefully, uh, by uh, the end of the year, uh, we're starting to see some recovery. Both the Regional District and Penticton City Council have plans to continue budget discussions at meetings in the coming weeks. For Castanet News, I'm Dale Corey in Penticton.